Hello, my name is Jewel James. I'm from the Lummi Indian Reservation. I'm the head carver for the House of Tears Carvers. We've, we've been doing totem poles journeys for 20 years. Uh, we place totem poles in, at hospitals, uh, public schools, you know, grade schools, high schools, uh, uh, boarding schools, old soldiers' homes. But we're fairly well known for bringing 9-11 uh, totem poles across the United States where we put poles, a pole for the uh, Twin Tower deaths in uh, New York, uh, one in Shanksville where Flight 73 crashed, and then uh, a three-piece in Congressional Cemetery in Washington, D.C. where Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. Uh, we uh, brought uh, totem poles to the National Library of Medicine as well, a three-piece uh, uh, configuration. We put totem poles in northern Alberta, in Winnipeg, British Columbia, uh, pretty much all over the United States in our campaigns for social justice, environmental justice, the protection of sacred sites and sacred places. Having a carving shop uh, will really give us a lot more time to work on the poles. Uh, before we're doing it in the rain and the wind and the sun and the snow and so it'll either become too hot or too cold or too wet uh, you know uh, you can't paint in the rain you, can't, you know and if you're using a planer to take the sapwood off the original log you can't use that out in the rain either you know so there's there's a lot of problems uh, having a, a place where you can't carve with a roof and four walls around you and so the carving shop is a, a way for us to uh, work later into the night when we need to. Uh, we're still carving on the, and painting on the totem pole when we loaded up and went on the journey on April 27th and some of the work had to be finished while we were on the road. Well, I just want to say that in order to accomplish the totem pole journeys that we're going to be working on for the next four or five years, I need to upgrade the carving shop. It's incomplete. I've done all the work I could on my own, and I just don't have the finances and I don't have the uh, energy myself to do all the work alone. I'm 68 and retired, you know, living on Social Security. And it's just a dream to be able to reach out and say, can you help? I need some help. And uh, we don't normally do that. You know, they tell us to be humble. You know, don't look for recognition. And so we've always been like that, doing these total pole journeys and doing the work and shaking our hands and going home, not asking for anything in return. But sooner or later, you have to have some help.